Everybody, it's DJ NV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, we're talking about the IRS. Now, Charlemagne wants to sh- uh, shake and rattle their cages. I'm fine with them. We good. I-, I think I paid them everything I owed them. Now, you gave Donkey the data who, Charlemagne? Uh, everybody who is going to be reporting their stolen property uh, to the IRS. You know, I don't know if y'all heard, but stolen property must be reported when filing taxes, the IRS says. Not just uh, stolen property, but... You know, any crime. You have to report your crime That's crazy. and what the fair market value for your crime was. So if you got a bribe for something, if you got a kickback for something, you know, drug selling, whatever it is, you got to report on your taxes. I can't wait to see who report. They be stealing them Amazon packages off your door. <laughs> well, so we can go whoop the hell out of them. <laughs> they still want your packages before? Nah, might be, might be, might be panty liners. They, they shake the box and it's light. <laughs> Did anybody in this room, is there any crime y'all committed last year that y'all need to file on your taxes? Nah. Pack, come on well, now. Even when I go to the grocery store and I steal some grapes, I, I pay for my grapes and my food. I well, pay for everything I rest. eat before you put on the scale. Well, I can't, well. Yeah, you're right. See, you got to report that. Them those grapes. I was asking him earlier. Uh, I was asking you earlier, uh, Charlemagne. What about if somebody rub on you? Yeah, and, and that's how we, we found out. That's how you got your new season for Miss Patchell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am at BET. You know, we had to work a little hard over there right now. Okay, They're going through some things. <laughs> yeah, just... Hello, who's this? Hi, this is TV. Hey, could they, could you do me a favor? Take us off Bluetooth for speaker. Yes, I did. I was driving. So okay. I... Good morning. Now, what scam you out here doing, allegedly? <laughs> Listen, Evie, you're not trying to get me in trouble, okay? What... I am not doing no scam. So what crime are you going to file on your taxes then, ma'am? <laughs> Listen, all I'm here to say is my black people don't fall for this, okay? There's too many of us in, in prison, and I don't want to, to get comfortable with all of that reporting, telling on yourself, don't do it, okay? That's don't all, do it. Oh, you, this is the public service announcement from you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Kadisha said, let me let me help my people out. Hello, who's this? Yo, what's up, man? This is this, this, this Anonymous. <laughs> all right. All right, <laughs> Anonymous. God. What crime you filing on your taxes, Anonymous? Well, so uh, I dressed up like a DHL worker and got some AT&T phones. I actually used to work there at um, DHL. But they laid us off. And I woke up the next morning like I was going to work. I'm so used to get up. And I opened my closet, and it was a DHL uniform still in there. So you put so, it on, went to work, and got a bunch of phones. I put it on. See, as a, as a driver, I used to be a driver. So the first half of my day was drop-offs, and the second half of my day was pickup from companies and stuff. And one of the companies was AT&T. So I put the uniform on, and I went to AT&T. And you know when a DHL driver walks in, walk in somewhere, nobody asks what they start giving you boxes and stuff. So I went to AT&T. It gave me like 400 and some iPhones, and I walked out of there. Hey, and how how much the, you made off the phone? Uh, in total, I probably made about about 30 bands, 25 bands. You got to wow. report that to the IRS. Fair market value. I'm saying, but how much could I get back? The whole 25 bands? <laughs> I don't know. You got to you find better out. Not. You, better, I, not. you I, better not. I can tell you how much you're going to get back. About 10 years when they see that big black ass on that camera picking up that outfit in that DHL suit. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I, I wrapped up. I made sure I wrapped up. I had on glasses. I had on a hat. Oh, long boy. He's one of those. Gloves. File your taxes the right way. Report that to the IRS, bro. $30,000 in stolen AT&T phones. Okay. That's don't the- listen to him. If it was cash, <laughs> just keep your mouth shut. And I don't know why your dumb ass called into this radio telling on yourself. And brother, let me just tell you I one other got, thing. I still got, I still got like ten of them. Yeah, I know somebody wants them. Give me your phone number. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. And bro, let me ask you a question. Next time you do this. You got to block your number before you call. We got call out there. I see your first name and your last name, brother. Your first name scam, your last name likely. Damn. <laughs> you have a good morning. All right, y'all too, man. I love y'all. <laughs> Let me say this. If he reported $30,000 is not a lot of money, and he got kids to claim, he going to get about $7,000 back. $30,000 so, is not a lot of money to who? Boy, Miss Pat, balling. Why would they give him a season three to be? Uh, I mean, God $30,000 damn, a year ain't that much money in a household. <laughs> if you got three kids, you got to get true. all that money back. What are you talking about? I don't know. Miss Pat just said $30,000 ain't a lot of money. I'm doing arenas now. Okay? <laughs> no, I'm doing theaters. I'm <laughs> 
Theta. 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 Put me down about five, about, about three, four years. 800 585 1051. What's something you stole, a bribe you took, or a scam you committed that you would have to claim to the IRS? Because right now the IRS is saying they want to know all illegal activity. They want you to claim, but they're not going to tell a popo on you. So let's talk about it. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Charlemagne the guy, we are the Breakfast Club. We have Miss Pat, our co host here. Yes, indeed. Now, if you're just joining us, Charlemagne gave Donkey today to who? Man, Donkey today went to everybody who is going to be reporting their crimes on their taxes. I don't know if y'all heard, but stolen property must be reported when filing taxes. So says the IRS. Not just stolen property, but drug sales, bribes you took. Any crime where you got prostitution, any crime where you got some money, you got to uh, report the fair market value of it on your taxes. So they and say. Whoever stole my Gucci glasses out of Chicago, I need you to report my glasses with my prescription in them. No. They don't stole three pair of my glasses out of Chicago. Well, stop getting Gucci prescription glasses. Just what? get regular prescription. Or what? stop going to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. To you gotta go. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Hello? Hello, hello. Yo. What's yo, up, bro? Can you hear me? Now we can hear you, man. What's what's something you stole or bribe you tick or some illegal activity you did, brother? No, that's not the question. The question yo, is what crime you gonna file on your taxes? On. Oh, don't tell don't even start telling <laughs> on yourself. What crime is you gonna file <laughs> on your taxes? The CPN guy. Huh? The CPN guy, they like to trade the privacy numbers to like help people get an apartment. And what did you do? Oh, he be selling those numbers, I guess, to help people's credit? Yeah, yeah. How much you made last year doing that? Probably like $12,000. So you the one, you the reason why they keep trying to buy my house. Because you out here selling our so phone numbers. Me on Twitter too. I mean, if you need one, it's <laughs> Joseph Bass. No, don't hang up on him. I had to. Don't do that. Because he, he reporting the league. He's doing his illegal activity on the phone. He the one. He the, he the reason why we get all these scam hey, calls. Ain't you the son of a cop? Act like one. What, you were telling him? He's I, telling on himself. I got his number. <laughs> I mean, let that man, if they want to tell him, they tell him He retired. Boy, you know he can't snitch. He the wrong complexion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, who's this? Yo, this is Bree from Virginia. Bree from Virginia, 757. Tell us. What uh, crime are you going to file on your taxes, What you going to file? What crime are you going to file on your uh, taxes, brother? Man, I ain't going to file none of that on mine. Well, what you did then that you should be filing? Well, check this out. So... I was put in a situation some years ago, and um, they took my money. And the case ended up getting dismissed, but with the amount of money, they couldn't release it back to me unless I could show IRS records. So if I would have found it, then I would have got that money back. Mm, so what you get arrested for? No. I ain't disclosing that one, buddy. <laughs> seven, five, seven. You know that, Envy. How much, how, much, how much was it that you made? With like 40K. All right, so let you me break it down. That on your taxes. Let me break it down. You were driving through Virginia, 757. You had 40,000 cash in the car because you was about to go re-up. The cops pulled you over, but you there was no no way to say that you were actually going to re-up. So they arrested you. The case was thrown out. But now you can't get the $40,000 back because you can't say where that money came from. Correct. But now you can file it on your taxes. You better not. <laughs> file it you on can. your taxes. Like doing it. Oh, you don't want your money back then. Because if you file it, you Correct. can get it back. Now you can't, you know, you could say your mom or dad gave you a loan for forty thousand dollars. You were going to buy a car. You know, you can say that. And then they had to show it. Let me ask you something. Mm. Did they bring the drug sniffing dogs out? <laughs> no. Cause that happened to me one time. I had like twenty thousand dollars on me. Mm -hmm. I was like sixteen, and they knew I was a drug dealer. But and uh, the police said, "Well, I'm bringing a drug sniffing dog." Well, I had the money, my underwear, and after it come out my underwear, ain't no cocaine <laughs> sniff on me. <laughs> <laughs> they gave my money back. They was like, "No drugs, but it's something else on me." Oh, I read man. about that in your book. You said the dog fainted <laughs> after he smelled his <laughs> <Stupid. his> money. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. After you put the money out the drawer, the it dog fainted. I got it back. You will faint too if you yeah, catch it on crazy. the wrong day. <laughs> all right, bro. So, did you get the money back? Uh, 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 you good with your people? They all right? They, they fronted you back again? I don't know what you is y'all talking about? Exactly. What is it? If you be asking he too the many one damn that's... questions, <laughs> this is leading questions. You gonna too. get a shot through the phone? <laughs> get a shot through the phone. What's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is y'all can fall for this if y'all want to. I can't tell you what to do, <laughs> but I wouldn't do it. Put your dope money in your underwear so it can kill the sense. What? <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh all right when we come back we got the rumor report we got to talk young miami uh she was acting on bmf and oh my god they drug her to miami <laughs> we're gonna talk about it when we come back it's the breakfast club good morning wake that ass up in the morning the breakfast club